In Wisconsin, Ryan Braun wasn't just a ball player. He was the modern day Robin Yount, a beacon of how the game should be played. He was that man parents point to while telling their kids that's how it's done. He was once hailed as baseball's shining example, a dedicated family-focused superstar who inked a team-friendly deal to lead his franchise. But then, Braun's reputation now teeters on the edge of uncertainty today, a twist of fate that defies logic. All right, hold on. Maybe that wasn't clear enough. Let's break it down. You see, Ryan Braun was a good guy in the baseball world that turned into a very bad guy in an instant. How could that be possible? What really happened? Well, it occurred when a bombshell revelation was dropped. Then his whole world came crashing down. To understand how much of a star Braun was and how his journey took a bad turn, we need to go back to the very roots of his career. He was born on November 17, 1983 in Los Angeles to Joe and Diane Braun. Growing up in LA, he was a diehard Dodgers fan. In high school at Granada Hills, baseball wasn't just a game for Braun, it was a passion. He dominated the field as a shortstop and pitcher, earning MVP honors and setting records with his impressive batting averages and on-base percentages. Despite receiving baseball scholarships from prestigious universities like Stanford and UC Berkeley, Braun opted for the University of Miami. At Miami, Braun's talent shone brightly as he earned accolades like National Freshman of the Year and multiple All-American honors. His junior year was particularly stellar, with impressive stats that earned him recognition as the Atlantic Coast Conference Baseball Player of the Year and a spot as a finalist for the prestigious Golden Spikes Award. While here, he also transitioned smoothly from shortstop to third base, showcasing his versatility on the field. In 2017, his outstanding collegiate career was immortalized as he was inducted into the University of Miami Hall of Fame. Obviously, he was on his way to becoming a superstar. He was totally unstoppable, and there was only one way to realize his full potential, dominate Major League Baseball. Selected as the fifth overall pick in the 2005 Major League Draft, he joined the Milwaukee Brewers with high expectations, signing a lucrative deal worth $2.45 million. His minor league journey began with the Helena Brewers, where he wasted no time showcasing his talent, boasting impressive batting averages and earning recognition as one of the league's top prospects. In 2006, Braun continued to shine, earning spots in the Florida State League All-Star Game and the All-Star Futures Game. He was promoted to the Huntsville Stars mid-season, and he impressed with his versatility, earning a number of accolades like the Brewers' Organizational Player of the Month and the sixth best prospect in the Southern League. His stellar performance also earned him the Robin Yount Performance Award as the Milwaukee Brewers Minor League Player of the Year. Then, later that year, Braun dominated in the Arizona Fall League, leading in various statistical categories and solidifying his status as one of the league's top prospects. By 2007, Braun was considered one of the Brewers' best prospects, showcasing his talents with the Nashville Sounds before making his highly anticipated debut in the majors. His exceptional performance in the Pacific Coast League earned him a call-up to the big leagues, where he continued to impress with his powerful bat. In 2007, Braun's arrival in spring training signaled hope for the Milwaukee Brewers. With regular third baseman Corey Koski sidelined, Braun seized the opportunity to make his mark, delivering impressive performances in spring training games. His official debut came in May, and what followed was nothing short of sensational. Braun quickly made history, smashing home runs and setting rookie records with ease. He earned accolades like the NL Rookie of the Month and Player of the Month, showcasing his power and skill on the field. Braun's remarkable rookie season continued to dazzle, with milestones piling up at an astonishing rate. He shattered records for the fastest player to reach home run milestones, leaving fans and analysts in awe of his talent. Braun's outstanding performance earned him numerous awards, including the coveted NL Rookie of the Year title and recognition from his peers as the NL Most Outstanding Rookie. And even though he narrowly missed out on the NL MVP award, his impact on the game was undeniable. But the best was yet to come. March 2008 marked a pivotal moment in Braun's career as the Brewers renewed his contract, signaling their confidence in his abilities. Soon after, he inked a lucrative eight-year extension, solidifying his future with the team until 2015. The star player wasted no time proving his worth on the field. He quickly surpassed milestones, setting records for the fastest active player to achieve significant stats like RBIs and home runs. He became the third fastest major leaguer to reach 50 career home runs. His stellar play earned him accolades like the NL Player of the Month, showcasing his dominance throughout the season. Plus, despite a brief setback due to injury, Braun bounced back with memorable moments, including a game-winning grand slam that kept the Brewers' postseason hopes alive. 
But that's not all, because his impact extended beyond regular season play, earning him a spot as a starting outfielder in the 2008 All-Star Game. Indeed, his remarkable achievements continued with an impressive showing in the Home Run Derby. In 2010, Braun clinched his third consecutive NL Outfielder Silver Slugger Award, further solidifying his reputation at the plate. He joined the ranks of Brewers legends like Robin Yount, becoming only the second player in franchise history to achieve this feat. The following year, his stellar performance continued to garner attention, earning him accolades like NL Player of the Month for April and leading the league in all-star balloting with a record-breaking number of votes. Whenever he stepped up to the diamond, he was sure to showcase his versatility with an impressive hitting streak, leaving memorable moments on the field and captivating fans with his unmatched skill and determination. In the end, Braun's exceptional season culminated in numerous achievements, including leading the NL in slugging percentage, OPS, and extra base hits. He showcased his power and speed by joining the exclusive 30-30 club that year, and he became the second player in Brewers history to achieve this milestone. Of course, his outstanding contributions didn't go unnoticed, as he received prestigious awards like the NL Outfield Silver Slugger Award for the fourth consecutive year and unanimous selection as the team's MVP. Braun's remarkable performance also earned him the ultimate honor of being named the NL MVP for the 2011 season. But just as his star was ascending, a storm was brewing. On December 10, 2011, shocking news rocked the baseball world when it was revealed that Braun had tested positive for elevated testosterone levels, potentially facing a 50-game suspension. The allegations reported by ESPN sent shockwaves through the sports community, with Braun vehemently denying any wrongdoing. To clear his name, Braun launched an appeal in January 2012, challenging the test results on the grounds of mishandling of his urine sample by the collector Dino Lorenzi Jr. He argued that the sample was not handled according to Major League Baseball protocols, raising doubts about its integrity. The case took a twist when a three-member panel overturned the test results on February 22, 2012, marking the first successful challenge of a drug test result by a Major League player. Of course, this decision, which was reached by a narrow margin, sparked debate and scrutiny over the handling of the case. Braun would also express relief and vindication following the panel's decision, maintaining his innocence and emphasizing the flaws in the collection process. But despite the outcome, the controversy surrounding the case left a lasting impact on Braun's reputation and the integrity of Major League Baseball's drug testing program. However, the issue didn't go away. There seemed to be something unusual about how Braun played that still raised some eyebrows. Soon enough, he was embroiled in controversy again. In February 2013, some reports surfaced that linked Braun to the Biogenesis Clinic, raising suspicions of his involvement in obtaining performance-enhancing drugs. And while Braun denied any direct dealings with the clinic beyond legal consultations during his previous drug test appeal, evidence suggested otherwise. Further revelations in April 2012 and June 2013 implicated Braun in PED transactions, prompting Major League Baseball to prepare suspensions for players linked to Biogenesis. Despite initially facing the possibility of a 100-game suspension, Braun ultimately agreed to a 65-game suspension without appeal. Although he wasn't the highest-profile athlete implicated in this scandal, that distinction belonged to Alex Rodriguez, who was ultimately suspended for the entire 2014 season. Braun's involvement in the saga provided a narrative filled with twists and turns, garnering national attention and becoming a significant story in Milwaukee. The player's admission of wrongdoing came in August 2013, and he acknowledged his use of PEDs during the 2011 season to aid recovery from an injury. He expressed remorse for his actions, apologizing to those affected and admitting to the delay in admitting his mistakes. But that didn't mitigate the effects of the whole controversy. The fallout from Braun's involvement with Biogenesis tarnished his reputation and drew criticism from both the media and fellow players. His suspension, coupled with his admission, marked a significant chapter in his career overshadowed by controversy and regrets. After openly admitting to using PEDs, Braun's career never fully recovered. He had a couple of stints that didn't go well, and to make things worse, he also suffered in his business off the field. Back in 2010, Braun expanded his off-field ventures by opening two restaurants in Wisconsin, including the Ryan Braun's Waterfront in Milwaukee's historic Third Ward and Ryan Braun's Tavern and Grill in Lake Geneva. However, the Milwaukee location underwent remodeling and emerged in April 2011 as Ryan Braun's Graffito, an Italian restaurant. Later in July 2012, Braun partnered with Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers to launch 812, which was a restaurant situated in Brookfield, Wisconsin. 
Unfortunately, though, the repercussions from his suspension for using performance-enhancing drugs led to losing endorsement deals like Quick Trip and Nike in 2013. Subsequently, Surge Restaurant Group, responsible for managing Braun's Graffito Restaurant and 812 MVP Bar & Grill, terminated its association with Braun in September 2013. 812 MVP Bar & Grill underwent a rebranding to become HOM following the loss of its affiliation with Braun. Additionally, Graffito shut its doors in October of the same year. All these while the player was also battling with injuries that made his playing stats drop significantly. Imagine a guy having the best time of his life right before a raging controversy brings him back to earth with a thud. His post-PED stats were underwhelming compared to his previous seasons, and there was nothing he could do to salvage the situation after he was let go by the Brewers. Ultimately, he had to retire. But the scars were there. The shadows never left. He was always spoken of in the same breath with those who had tried to cheat their way out. And ultimately, the fans never forgave him. To date, his story remains a cautionary tale of the impact PED use can have on a star player's career. He had simply destroyed his reputation.